hey what's up guys my name is Saurav and this is my youtube channel data science novice so if you are new to my youtube channel please do like and subscribe your efforts are massively appreciated so far we were discussing some random stuff like drawing image drawing rectangle on an image now we are going to make use of that and learn some more advanced topic like object detection we will start with some basic idea like template matching and then we will move on to some more advanced topic like watershed algorithms, space distraction, etc. etc. Note that this lecture series is a hands-on with OpenCV, which means it is more of a practical course than a theoretical one. So that restricts me from discussing some more advanced maths behind the algorithms. But don't worry about it. If you want to explore more mathematically, you can find many resources out there. And in future, I might write a blog on these topics, so make sure to visit my blog regularly. So let's get started. What is template matching? Template matching is a technique in which we try to find an area in any photo that has resemblance to any template. So for example, in this slide, we have Tony Stark photo and we have another photo of his face. Now we want to detect where is the face of the Tony Stark in the source image. So once we perform template matching, we get the third image. One thing to note that your template should always be smaller than the source image. The link of these photos are in the descriptions. I have done nothing, just downloaded the bigger picture and cut out the face of Tony Stark using snippet tool. You can do this with other you know, photos also. So let's see what happens and how does template matching works. As we know that image consists of pixels and each pixel has a value between 0 to 255. So the template move over the source image and does some kind of correlation. And there are different ways to calculate these correlations. So wherever the pixel is similar, that area will have highest or lowest value depend upon the type of algorithm we are using. So here is a GIF image taken from my blog that explains the whole procedure. So suppose image input is our source image and filter is Tony's face. So the Tony face moves over the source image and outputs some numbers and the highest value signify that the face is at that place. And also if you have done any projects on convolutional neural network, this might sound familiar to you. This is known as convolutional operation. If you don't know about CNNs, I would suggest you to read my blog. I have written a very beautiful blog on this and we will be discussing about CNN as well in the later part of the course. Let's next see that what all method we are going to discuss. So these are the method we are going to apply in the template matching. And these are nothing but calculating some kind of correlation based on different parameters. And that's all for the theory part. Now let's head back to the Jupyter notebook. So here I am in my Jupyter notebook and I have already done the imports. So first we are going to import the image. Let's name the variable Tony and we read the image using OpenCV. And we know the problem with OpenCV. Next, we convert it into BGR to RGB. And if you don't know, I have already discussed this thing in my first lesson. And there I have talked about why it happens and what happens if we don't change the color. So you can watch that video too if you want to. So let's plot the image to see how it looks like. So calling pld.imshu method and passing the image. So here we have our image. Next, we have to import the Tony face. That will be our template as we talked about in PPT. So the code is going to be same. So you can copy paste the whole code and you just have to change the variable names like I did. So let's plot that too. So calling show and passing the face. So we have successfully imported the source image and template. So moving on to the next step. Now we are going to apply the method. So before that, first we have to make the copy of Tony image so that we don't change the actual image because we are going to use multiple methods on the same image so that just to make sure that we don't overwrite. So next we are going to do the template matching and the code is going to be very simple. Let's create a result variable so that we can store the result. And next we call cv2.match template and we pass three parameters in it. So first it takes the source image. In this case, we are going to pass Tony's full image. Next, it takes the template that is the face of the Tony. And third is the method itself we want to apply. In this case, we are going to use coe that is correlation coefficient. So we call cv2.tm underscore 
and the first method is the correlation coefficient method so let's run this cell now to see that what actually happens we have to plot the result so let's do that so here we are getting this kind of image this is nothing but a heat map so the yellow region signifies that we found the match here and the dark area signifies that there is no match so what happened here is the tony face was ran over the source image and we cal calculated some kind of correlation in this case we uh, calculated correlation coefficient and the output number is then stored into the result value and with the help of matplot library we plot this heat map so next we will grab the location of this bright area and using those coordinate we will draw the rectangle around the original image and to grab the location we have a dedicated function in opencv so we have to call cv2 dot min max log and pass the result so let's see what it returns so here we see it returns tuple so first thing we have is minimum value in the next we have maximum value and then we have minimum value location and then we have maximum value location respectively so let me show you what actually results look like calling result we get bunch of numbers so out of these number we are extracting minimum and maximum value and their location as well so let's do the tuple unpacking so that we can store the location and with the help of those coordinate we can draw the rectangle so we stored them into min value max value min location and max location and next we create a new variable that is top underscore left and assign it max location value so from this location we will be drawing the rectangle next we will be drawing the rectangle of the same size as the face template so let me show you the dimension of face template so according to that we will modify the rectangles dimension so this is the shape of the template so next we are going to save these dimension into the variables height width and channel so that we can use them to make rectangles so in order to make a rectangle we need one more thing that is bottom left sorry bottom right so but but before that i have to show you something like so let's call top left corner so here we see that it returns two things so if we want to return first thing we have to use index so we are going to use this idea as well so in order to get the coordinates we call top left at zero plus width and next we use top left at 1 we add the height so this way we get the uh, coordinates of bottom right so now we have all the things required to draw a rectangle we have top left and we have bottom right so next we are going to draw a rectangle and this, this is very basic we have already know how to draw rectangle so let's do that so calling cv2.rectangle then we pass the parameters like image top left bottom right thickness sorry color and then thickness So next we are going to plot the image to see whether the operation runs successfully or not. So we call plt.im show. So here, so here we see that we actually able to detect the Tony Stark's face. So this way you can you know do template matching. So let's recap that what we did. So first what we did, we did template matching. Then we got the maximum value. And with the help of this we define our top left and bottom right corners. Right, and this way we are able to create our desired output. This is a very basic technique and we will be learning some more advanced techniques in later part of the video. But this is a very good exercise just to make you understand how things work in OpenCV and how we detect certain things in, in an image. And this idea will be extended to video as well. So make sure to understand this really well. So next we are going to use a different method to do this thing again. And the code is going to be very similar to the first one. We are just going to make few changes. So let's copy the image again so that we do not uh, do not create anything on original image. So next we save the result in new variable so that we can visualize that how these things or these techniques are different from the earlier one. So next we call cv2 dot matching templates and then we pass usual parameters. But this time we are going to pass different method. So let me show you cv2 dot template underscore. And now we are going to use square difference, right? 
So let me show you the result. Okay. So here you see this yellow image. So let me show you the earlier one image so that we can make a difference. We can judge how the earlier one is different from this one. So you can see the difference well. These two techniques are opposite of each other. In the first technique, what we get, we get the highest value. That is, we get a bright color when the pattern matches. On the other end, in second technique, what happens? We get a lowest value. That is, we get a dark, pix, uh, dark color when the pattern is matching. So that's why we are getting a yellow all over and blue is only at one place where the pattern is matching. So now let's grab the min max value. So just we are just going to copy paste the above line of code. And make sure to change the result from result underscore one else we will be getting the same image. Now here we have to be very cautious. Since we are getting pattern matched at lowest value, we assign min minimum location to top underscore left variable. And since the idea for bottom right coordinate is going to be the same, we just have to copy paste that code and run it. So let's do that also. Okay, so now we are done with all the code. Now we just have to draw the rectangle. So we are just going to copy paste the same code and we are just going to change the image parameter. So let's do that also. And next we change the color for the rectangle as well so that we know that it is a different rectangle and we have used different algorithm. So this algorithm is also able to detect the face very well. So this way we can use template matching so next we are going to use a for loop and use all the template matching method. So I'm directly going to show the code because the code is very similar to what we have been doing. So first we have created a list of all the methods available for template matching. Then we are iterating through all these methods. Next we create a copy of the image so that we do not override the original image. Then we use pattern matching. Then we have to save the location or for min max coordinate then we use the condition since we have two types of pattern matching uh, algorithms so based upon that i have used condition and the code is self-explanatory then we have bottom right coordinates then we draw rectangle and then we are making use of uh, matplot library functionality to create subplots so let's run this cell so this way we can make use of loops to pick the best template matching method and again don't worry about the code it is on my GitHub account, so you can copy paste it in your notebook and understand it later. The basic idea is to give you an intuition that how template matching works. So that's all for this video. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe and press the bell icon for the future update. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye. Stay safe.